friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show a very important uh, mechanical analysis. It will be design analysis optimization of a, a simple mechanical component. But uh, with this analysis, you will learn a lot of things like you will have a better concept of local and global sensitivity analysis. But at the same time, you can go for design optimization. Now, what is local and global analysis? We'll show this one through this example itself. Like suppose if you have a part or model which is having different dimensions like length, width, height, etc. So while, while carrying out analysis, you have to find out which parameter is more predominant for checking the stress values like in a different way you can say that which part is more important for your stress values now that can be checked using local uh, sensitivity analysis so we're starting this one using a simple model let's start it this one using new and default template should be unchecked we're starting with the name as beam section okay now from here we have to select millimeter newton second part solid and as it is a very simple object, so we have to start from right plane, it is beam only, right plane, sketch, then sketch view, right, okay. We start a rectangle only, let's provide smart dimension to that one, this breadth equal to 200 millimeter and height equal to 300 millimeter, okay. Drawing is complete, green check, then extrude. We want to have extrusion length equal to 1000 millimeter okay done so model is ready right now the thing is we want to apply load or pressure we can apply load and pressure throughout this whole beam or on a specific area also or a specific region also, right how can it be done that can be done using some uh, like selection of a special region right so we can do this one using this analysis we we'll start this one using applications simulate next define model so we have to define this model from surface region select the reference plane item and define define that region right at this region only you have to apply it out. so sketch on this region only to select a line maybe you can select a line from here done green check so a specific region is created already now to go back to home for analysis right okay so before starting analysis you have to apply some boundary conditions that means left side should be fixed okay so we have to go from displacement displacement of this left side from all directions xyz all directions and rotation also should be fixed that means zero displacement and zero rotation for this left side okay that means left side is fixed next one we have to apply some material right let's see the material standard materials we are selecting steel cast metal with poisonous ratio 0.3 and Young's modulus equal to 2.03 take your 5 megapascal selected now material to be assigned okay material is assigned next part is we have to apply load or pressure or force whatever may be right so yes applying force from this point and we want to apply force in the downward direction so z will be there right let's 900 kilo newton load we are applying on this region right let's preview this one okay the arrows are showing downwards that means is okay that means we have applied a load of 900 kilo newton in the downward direction right the model is ready for analysis right now now we're starting analysis First, we have to start with new static structural analysis. But to start this analysis, let's start it. New analysis has started. It will take some time. Yeah, it is done already, right? Now we can see the analysis results from here. We can see stress, strain, displacement, etc. First of all, we will see one with stress. See here in this case. Uh, maximum stress developed is at the lower left corner and it is in the range of 234 megapascal right 
then that is uh, model is not safe it is beyond the ill stress right ill stress so we have to model this one in a different way is the stress developed is less uh, our case it is stress is very high uh, we can see one thing like from design dynamic query you can see what is the stress at different locations if we click here it will show the stress at this point at this point stress equal to you can see uh, 21 megapascal and here if we click here it will show stress is 99 megapascal let's see in this region here it is 178 megapascal and here in this case you can see rate portion it is 220 megapascal that means as we are approaching towards the left hand side the stress value is increasing the sharp concentration is at the extreme left side right excluding this one we can see some other things like uh, displacement then uh, strain etc but this is not our aim our aim is to uh, optimize this one and minimize the mass with respect to some uh, stress values as in this case we can see the model is not safe our aim is to minimize the stress value let's take a decision that uh, our stress will be maximum 150 megapascal right so based on that we have to model this object and finally optimize the mass okay so what is our aim our aim is to uh, fix the stress level up to 150 megapascal and based on that stress value we have to uh, optimize this model by the same time we have to optimize the mass also right okay let's get started next part we have to go for some kind of sensitivity analysis we are starting with new sensitivity design study in sensitivity design study we are having two types one is global sensitivity and one is local sensitivity what are the difference in local sensitivity actually uh, what happens is uh, in this model or any model we are having uh, different uh, parameters or different dimensions among these dimensions which dimension is more predominant or more important for uh, fixing the stress value that is determined by this local sensitivity analysis in this example we are having length breadth and height among these three dimensions which one is more important for fixing the stress value that should be determined from this local sensitivity analysis okay we are starting local sensitivity analysis selecting that analysis one then we have to select that dimensions now in this dimension we will select first this 200 millimeter length okay let's go for that analysis we have to start this analysis just started and running it will take some time for finishing this one it is done right we can see we can see the results thus results can be seen with respect to some other variables with respect to one minute stress we want to see that right maximum one minute stress we're considering we want to see a graph right that means at what value of this depth what will be the value of stress right you can see here the bottommost part that means in the x direction it is showing the length of this beam and along y axis it is showing von Mises stress it is showing that as length is increasing von Mises stress is decreasing right in this cross-sectional area more the breadth less is the stress now in the other case also we can see these results but how to compare these two results because so with respect to the depth also we can we will have similar kind of graph now from these two graphs which graph is having more uh, like uh, slope that will be more predominant or more important now in this case we can see how much is the uh, slope right we can calculate these things with calculator 237.25 minus 236 equal to 1.25 divided by this value divided by this value equal to uh, 199 minus 198 that is 1 that is equal to 1.25 only slope of this drawing equal to 1.25 we can remember this one now we can do another sensitivity analysis local sensitivity analysis using this depth of this object right file new sensitivity design study 
who are looking for local sensitivity study select analysis one you have to select that component sketch then selecting that depth right let's go for analysis let's run it yes it started running we'll see the results within seconds yes result is ready you can see it we can see with respect to maximum one minute stress let's see okay this is also similar type of graph what we saw in the previous case now in this case we'll see how much is the slope here also we can see that more the depth less is the stress developed right so our x-axis it is having depth and y-axis having one major stress more the depth less is the stress so we are considering cross-sectional area so within breadth and depth which is more important for facing the stress value that we have determined right now now we can, here we can see how much is the slope right we can consider slope before it was 1.25 we'll make a new one we're considering this one right it is 239.6 minus 235 equal to 4.6 divided by up to this one right equal to 297 minus 300 that means 3 divided by 3 equal to 1.53 so this is more compared to the previous value right that means the depth is more predominant means depth is more important compared to uh, breadth right with this consideration we have to go for global sensitivity analysis okay we are starting this global sensitivity analysis right now new sensitivity design study now we are starting global sensitivity analysis select analysis one select the component select that dimension as in between 200 and 300 300 is more important for changing the stress values so we select 300 millimeter and we can have this range from 200 to some other values like we can take from 200 to 400 as per our requirement right and these values we are considering with respect to some other parameter that means with respect to one major stress okay so this is okay we can go for this will go for some kind of iteration with 10 steps it will show at different depths or different breadth how much will be the stress values right it will show okay we'll run this we start running it will take some time it's completed right now we see the results we we'll see the results of global analysis you want to see this with respect to one major stress right show the results so it is a graph we are showing depth versus one major stress you can see as more depth one major stress is less you can see uh, our aim was to find out the stress value equal to 150 i told at the beginning aim is to minimize the one major stress developed it was decided to fix at 150 right so based on that criteria you can say that our depth should be 380 millimeter in that case one major stress will be 150 okay this is one kind of optimization that is depth is 380 millimeter in that case one major stress developed will be 150 megapascal okay now with this dimension only we have to optimize the mass okay depth will be 380 millimeter right next part is we have to optimize the mass so we're going for different analysis known as design optimization right in this case what we have to do is we have to minimize the mass based on some specific one major stress we we'll select the stress value here right now maximum one major stress we are planning to fix at 150 megapascal right okay next one we have to select that dimension that is a depthistic word select the sketch that 300 millimeter depth we are selecting now the initial value was 300 and it is considering from 200 to 400 right we can go for analysis let's run this one here it is very important to see this study status 
it is going to different iterations so it is completed right you can see the results what it is we have got optimized result it is showing that mass is 5.9 10 to the minus 1 kg we achieve the goal b1 that means the depth of that object should be 374.488 millimeter so we can make it standard one as 375 millimeter and add this depth our mass will be 5.8 into a minus 1 kg okay we got the word m our goal is achieved right so what do we find we found that at depth of 374.488 the stress value is minimum what we decided before that stress value is 150 megapascal okay this is our optimized result okay we can view the results here itself one minute stress you see yes right it is showing the maximum stress developed is equal to 150 megapascal okay so this is all about our conception of uh, local and global analysis by the same time we did some kind of uh, optimization of mass right thank you very much for watching this video if you like please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye